Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you know me, you know that I love impact drivers. These are the most powerful, versatile drivers that you can really have, but there's one huge drawback to them, is that they have a quarter inch hex that goes into a collet, and you're really limited with what you can use. So with t traditional drills, you have uh, a chuck, which is basically just a little bitty vise, and you're limited by the diameter of the chuck itself. Having two different cordless drill drivers or, you know, anything like that, it can be inconvenient and you're going to be rustling around. So I've actually found an adapter. So this is a impact driver, I guess, adapter, chuck adapter. So what this does, it actually slides right into the chuck, it, or to the cola, it locks in the chuck adapter. And then all you need to do is use it as a regular chuck. You can spin it to clamp anything down. Now this is the Makita, it's sold at Home Depot. It's a 3 8 inch, it's stainless steel. I've had it for many years, but I don't use it that much. So it works the same way as any chuck. It just slides in, you tighten it up just like this, and then you just tighten it down. Now, it's a keyless chuck as well, so it doesn't mean you have a wrench that you can just continue to tighten. So what we're going to be testing out today is, is this actually worth it? Is it going to replace another cordless tool, a drill driver, or is it really not up to snuff? So we're going to test, is it actually worth it? In order to do that, we're going to run a few simple tests. We're going to take this, this is a 3 8 inch, 12 inch, typical round. So we'll see how well it does with this. And then we're gonna move on to an auger bit. This is a one inch auger bit. Now as you can see, this is hex. So this is gonna help. It's not so much friction based um, as it is clamping force and then just holding its position, if you will. Then we're gonna move on to a Forstner bit. This is a two inch Forstner bit. And then we're gonna try out a really big test. This is a hole saw, it's a four inch hole saw, and we're gonna see if this is gonna hold up to it. Now, I'm not gonna let up on it. I wanna push this as hard as I possibly can, and if I break this bit, well, I break the bit. All right, so I found the best way to actually tighten up the chuck is just to use the drill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in reverse, I'm gonna show you how I take it out. I'm just gonna hold this really tight, reverse it, that's going to let it loose. Now you really have to press back onto it so it's not just holding it in place because this does move. You got to hold back in this direction, you hold it tight. So if I want to put it in, I tighten it, I hold it the same way. Now it's tight. So let's go ahead, let's drill a couple holes right here. All right, three, two, one. All right, so here's the deal. This had thread locker on it. This is what actually attaches the chuck to the uh, collet. So this is your quarter inch adapter. It threads in right here. Um, the only thing that's keeping it from spinning out was thread locker. In my eyes, that's a poor design. I can't get this drill bit off of this. I have beat it. I've tried holding it in place with a large a reinforced rod and turning it from here. 
Now I've got it in a vise, and you can see how, how it moves. This. So what I have to do is I gotta keep pressure on it here, pull back on it, you know, and then try and turn. All right, now that it's welded up, it's not gonna come unthreaded. Let's see if I can actually take it out. Oh, okay. All I had to do was weld it. Great, move on to the next test. All right, three, two, one. did that without any problems. Took it a little bit longer than I think it would with a regular drill driver, but uh, yeah, it did the job. Okay, now on to the two inch Forstner bit. Three, two, one. Okay, that worked out perfect. We snapped it right off, just like I was planning to do. Man, I really hope, I hope I don't break anything. Three, two, one. It's broke. It sheared the pins right out of it. I know I've been frustrated with the tool in the past more than this, but I can't remember the time and I can't remember the tool. All I can say is that I hope that there is another adapter that is much better than this. Using this chuck adapter on an impact driver, in my opinion, is one of the worst things that you can possibly do. They make drill drivers for a reason. This is not impact rated. I snapped the Forstner bit. I got the typical just round drill bit stuck in it. Not only could I not get it out, I couldn't hammer it out, I couldn't pry it out, I actually had to weld the adapter onto the back of the chuck <laughs> just so I could use the impact driver to get it out. I can tell you this is the top of the line impact driver for Ryobi. It has 2200 inch pounds of torque and it is very hot right now. I mean almost too hot to touch. If this was plastic and not steel, I guarantee you I would be able to mold it with my hands at this point in time. Um, I sheared the pins off of the adapter for the hole saw. I mean really all the way around using this is not a replacement. Get the right tool for the job, get a drill driver, do the jobs that you need to do, get the torque in the right place, and be happy, and don't fudge up, don't cut corners, don't do any of that. If I've learned anything from this experience, is that 
this is not the way to go for this tool. Unless you want to break this tool, you want to overheat the tool, you want to get maybe hurt yourself in the process and damage a bunch of accessories and drill bits. So anyways, I hope this was helpful to someone. If it was, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care everybody.